the tip of the week, this week, is about seed stitch. And seed stitch is a stitch pattern which is supposed to be a dense fabric, not lacy. And I've worked up a swatch that is lacy so you can see the difference. In this swatch, you can see that there are a lot of holes. This is not great looking seed stitch. Now, how these holes get here is the same way that ribbing looks sloppy, and it is the same fix. Now, if you're not sure about your seed stitch, one thing you can do is compare it to your stocking net and garter stitch gauge. I've worked up using the same number of stitches this stocking net and garter stitch swatch. 12 stitches. Notice how much larger the seed stitch is. Stocking knit and garter should have approximately the same gauge. There's always going to be some variation and if seed stitch is work, worked properly it'll probably have a few stitches less. This is 12 stitches. Now to work seed stitch, ignore George, he always likes to make an entry, to work seed stitch properly, what you do is when you go from a knit, which this one is, to a purl stitch, that's the next one, you bring the yarn forward very tightly. You might even want to give it a bit of a tug. And what this does is it reduces the amount of space between those stitches, and that will get rid of the holes. I just bring it forward and I want to make sure that it's nice and tight. Now if you don't, if you just bring your yarn forward and then work it, notice that that extra yarn is there and that is what is going to give you the holes. Now you will never ever get rid of all of the holes. Remember this is hand knitting, not machine knitting. So you're going to want to do the best you can, but it is not essential to get rid of every single hole because you're just not going to be able to do it. And there you can see that that seed stitch, if I stretch it, I will see some holes, but in its natural state, I won't. <laughs>